Gridding is the process whereby a set of irregularly distributed points are converted to a regularly spaced grid. The control point input can represent any numeric observation, such as the properties listed here. It is assumed, however, that the control points can be described in terms of x, y, and z, z being a numeric value representing a geological, geochemical, geotechnical, or geophysical parameter. The gridding process starts with an imaginary grid. Each element of this grid is referred to as a cell. The midpoint of a cell is referred to as a node. The gridding process involves the estimation of the node values based on the surrounding control points. The method or technique used to estimate these values is known as an algorithm. Rockworks has many gridding algorithms, which we'll describe in subsequent videos. Rockworks stores the interpolated numeric values for each cell within files with an RWGRD extension, such as surface topography.rwgrd. Grids can be displayed in a variety of ways. For example, if we color code the cells and make them small enough, a color-coded contour map will be produced. We can draw lines around similar cells to produce contour maps. And we can use the z-values as elevations to produce 3D mesh diagrams and shaded surfaces. It is very important to understand that a grid, as stored within an RWGRD file, is just an array of numbers. It is not a diagram. These numeric models are what Rockworks uses to perform volumetric computations, slope analysis, time-based animations, and so on. 